Alright, so just gonna try to fix the problem with this. Um, makes kind of a grinding sound and also um, having trouble reading a couple of discs. Having a bit of trouble reading a couple of discs, but they are quite scratched so. Just six, one, two, three, four, I know, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn it off. Okay, so I took out the screws, so now I should just be able to pull off the top here. And then we have to take these two screws out here. Take this off to get to the laser. Um, <coughs> I think the correct screw for this screwdriver is PH00, <coughs> maybe. <coughs> and then on this model, there's just two clips at the back here. Um, Kind of got to put your screwdriver in there like that. It's a little gap there. Put pry up on it. And once you've taken off one, it should be able to. Right, so you see these two gears in here? Um, there's actually two holes in the top. And uh, of the gears, and I've lined those up at the 12, 12 o'clock, and I've just lined those up at 12 o'clock position. Yeah, and it seems to be working pretty good. Um, still seems to possibly struggle a bit. I've just noticed that there's a Allen bolt in them, so I'm gonna try and adjust them. There we go, turn that, just turn that a bit more, and uh, so you may be able to do it like that without taking this bracket out. Um, so what I'm going to do is test it I guess, and see, uh, I think it lifts the laser up, so if you do it too much it might be, might not work, but just take note to of where how far you turn them and stuff. Um, but yeah, just gonna try that now. You can just take this part out here and put it on top of the um, game just to keep it in place. I think it's got a magnet in there. And you just have to kinda move it to one side and push it through. This is the side here that faces down on the disc. And uh, turn the power on. Make sure my TV on. See if it makes a difference. Yeah, so it seems to be working. Um, a couple of discs it hasn't worked with, and uh, they're actually quite scratched though, so I'm sending them off to get um, redone to see if that's just the problem with that. Uh, but yeah, I think it might have worked. Um, 
I may replace the laser at some point and see. But uh, switch the power off. Let's turn it off first. Um, another thing that I did is I took this um, laser. I didn't take it out completely, but I took this bracket off here. You just have to kind of pop these parts out here. Um, or this, I just pop them out with a screwdriver, and then um, this rail comes out. You can just slide the laser out. And what I did was I pushed down on this um, part here, just so it grips onto the motor part, I guess, a bit better it seems like I was struggling before to move up and down. It's moving a bit better now, it's not clicking as much. So that seems to have fixed that. I also put some grease on these rails and I think that helped too. But yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Um, cleaned the laser too with the isopropyl. But yeah, 